Welcome to another edition of Tesla Tips and Trips. You join me at an Electrify America station with our Tesla Model Y. We are going to be using our CCS adapter and show you exactly how to use all this stuff because a lot of you guys are getting them now. So let's uh, let's get into it. Hey, quick tip. Now that we have these CCS adapters in our hot little hands, they're uh, rolling out to the masses. One thing that Tesla needs to do now that we have these CCS adapters is allow us to precondition for CCS. So one trick you can do is precondition going to a supercharger and kind of trick the car to warm itself up while you're going to CCS. We need this Tesla. Hey, are you listening Elon? I know you watch this channel. <laughs> uh, we need to be able to precondition our cars going to CCS chargers. We are at Valencia Town Center and we are rolling up on our kind of new to us Electrify America charging stations. You can see them right there all decked out in green. We are going to uh, use our CCS adapter, which we've actually had for a little while. Um, why are we not going, Mr. Civic? Okay. Um, we haven't tried these out yet, though. We've been using the ones by the Walmarts because, you know, there's a lot of CCS uh, EAs at Walmart. Hey, it's empty. Cool. Um, so we're going to try these out. Brand new installation for us. And we're going to show you how to use the uh, CCS adapter that uh, everybody's starting to get now. So this is pretty cool. All right, what do we got here? This is a big install. Wow, this is cool. And they still have Chatamo, so that's cool. Let's take that end unit over there and we'll stay out of everybody's way. This is pretty cool. Valencia Town Center, Valencia, California. And uh, we got to back it in just like a supercharger. And uh, we'll show you how to do all this stuff with the new CCS adapter. Show them the, the adapter. It's pretty cool. There it is. All right, let's get to it. All right, there's the adapter. Woo! special video effect. Not really. All right, so there we got it. We keep it in this box because we haven't gotten a fancy case for it. And uh, so basically the deal is we're going to grab that nozzle over there and we're going to plug in the adapter. Wow, that's tough. It's new. It's new. All right. So now let's put the adapter in. You got to do the app thing. All right. Let's open up the charge port. These are really thick cables, by the way. You got to do the app. I thought we we're plugging in first. No, you do it at the same time. Nah, just plug it in and we'll do the app then. There we are. It is in. We had some sort of beeping going on. Go check Activated. that out. Swipe to charge on the um, the app there. And the error says uh, charge cable not fully inserted. So are we good or not? It says, does it say starting to charge or ready to charge over there? Starting. Okay. So Welcome let's take a look here. Welcome driver. Is it going? I don't hear stuff. Usually I hear stuff. Oh, now I'm hearing stuff. What does the, um, what does the Tesla light oh, it's say? It's charging. Oh, okay. We're green. We're good. Well, 90 kilowatts. We're already at 90 kilowatts. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Look at that. Getting 101 kilowatts. Let's see it ramp up here. 103. Now, granted, we're uh, about halfway state of charge here. So we're not expecting too fast speeds. Usually you want to be on the lower end of the battery for these kinds of tests, but I just kind of wanted to show you the process. Uh, 103 kilowatts right now. I can hear the car uh, making uh, different noises. They're basically supercharger noises. All right, so again, the process for uh, for using the adapter, because we kind of did that quickly, um, plug the adapter into the main nozzle of the CCS cable. Those are huge, thick, really hard to use. Um, plug the entire thing into the car, have the app ready on your phone, ready to swipe with the, um, the number of the charger stall on the app ready to go. And then once it's plugged in, swipe to charge and you should be good to go. Now, by the way, you kind of need to have all the app stuff set up ahead of time. We already did, we've had this for about a year now, we've had a different CCS adapter. So 
um, you really need to have the EA stuff or whatever charging station you're using, uh, charge point, et cetera, have all that stuff set up at home and ready to go before you get here, because otherwise it's, you know, a little downtime trying to figure all that out. So we had all that set up and um, you just find the number of the charger. Let's go take a look at that. So it's not as easy as supercharging by any means. So in this case, there is the stall number way up there and we're looking at 01. And uh, let's take a look at what the, um, the EA screen is showing us. 47, 48% state of charge. We've been charging for two minutes. And uh, we're at uh, 43 cents a kilowatt at this particular station, which is, I think, 47 kilowatts, 40 cents, 47 cents a kilowatt at our nearby supercharger. So it's a little cheaper. And we could go even cheaper still. They have a $4 a month uh, plan that we could pay for. And now that we have this adapter, uh, maybe I'll pay for that, that $4 membership a month. So uh, here's what it looks like plugged in. And we've got the green uh, Tesla light going. And this is what it looks like from the side. So you don't actually plug it in all the way. There is this little gap here. Don't worry about that. That's fine. Um, this looks a little askew, but hey, it's working. Don't touch it, it's fine. Um, but these um, CCS cables are way, way thicker than supercharger cables. So when you first roll up on this and, and pull it out, you're gonna realize, oh my gosh, um, it's way different than supercharging. So we are longtime Tesla users. Supercharging is basically roll up, plug in, and you're done. This, there's some more steps to it. I mean, we're using an adapter. We're using a network where you have to have a different pay system, a different app. You have to tell it which stall to use. So it's a little bit different situation, but at the end of the day, this opens up so many more options for uh, charging, especially on road trips. I wouldn't normally do this. This is our local our charger. I wouldn't normally do this because I charge at home. Um, these particular chargers, let's take a look, up to 150 kilowatts, which is actually on the slow end. These can do 350 kilowatts, depending on the car that you're charging. And, um, oh, by the way, the other thing, as uh, Marcus just uh, moved the other cable, um, there are two cables per unit. That doesn't mean you can charge two cars, actually. It's, um, I guess, these cables are pretty long, actually. Do you notice that? Generally speaking, these are pretty long cables. Um, but there are two cables per unit. That doesn't, again, mean that you can charge two cars. It's just, uh, I guess, access or backup redundancy in case something breaks. Um, so you can't roll up on either side of these because, I mean, it looks like you could charge one car on this side and then another car here, but that's not the case. So uh, just wanted to let you know about that. Here is our Model Y. Let's do a little around the car. Nice uh, ID4 over there charging. Got to get some uh, tire shine on these tires. Car's been our uh, our cars have been neglected lately because that kid over there is playing baseball, and at the fields that we go to, it's a dust bowl, and we go there twice a week. So we have no shot to wash our cars right now for like eight weeks. Ooh, what happened here? Is that damage on our wheels? It no, it's coming off of my finger. Good. All right, I was worried there for a second. All right, so we're charging. Uh, Electrify America using the fancy new CCS adapter that everybody's getting. I personally think it's worth the money because it just opens up like <laughs> a lot more charging, uh, especially on road trips. So we're at five minutes in, $3.44 and at 54% st uh, state of charge. So let's compare that to inside the car. So 54% and 55%. So it's about dead on, and we're still charging at 97 uh, kilowatts, That's which what is it says back here. same. Yeah. All right, same uh, on the unit as in the car, so that's pretty cool. There you go. Fast CCS charging at Electrify America. That's how you do it with these new adapters. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. I'd love to, uh, to chat with you guys. And uh, it's pretty easy, right? Okay, we're gonna wrap up this session here. We are at uh, 54 kilowatts. Still not too bad considering we're at 83% uh, there. Um, and we charged 
almost all the way. Good enough for the uh, first couple of days of commute for this car. 83%, 240 miles. Let's go unplug, shall we? Put the light. Oh, and we got an, uh, an EV6 here. Actually, two EV6s and an ID4 and a Ford Lightning over yonder. Pretty cool. Different, different, uh, hold on, different, uh, we gotta turn it off from the, the unit first. So that's how these are different than superchargers. So, so we gotta turn it off from the screen. Stop. Please unplug. And now it unlocked here, so now you can do that. Cool, let's get our adapter. Always remember to get your adapter. And that's it. That's pretty much the process for uh, stopping the charge. And we are, thank you driver. I don't think I'm gonna get charged for this. Charging cost, zero. Free, I love free, don't you? You know how we love free around here. Look at that. We knew something was up because the app was not showing that we were even charging. Uh, so pretty cool. We got, uh, what do we get? 23 minutes, 32 kilowatt hours delivered for free for free. And now it's ready for the next customer. So let's, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, definitely different company than we normally have with the, the two EV sixes, the ID four and the uh, Ford lightning. Pretty cool. Uh, we got to put this back in its little box. Got to get a case for that. I know they have them in South Korea but $50 for a case for this. And then we throw it under here. Now they know where to steal it. And there we go, good to go. That is our experience at Electrify America, charging our Tesla Model Y performance amongst other EVs. Oh, we gotta close our uh, trunk here. All right, thumbs up from the teenager. That's always good, right? Um, so. There you go. That's how to use the adapter with your Tesla, the CCS official adapter from Tesla at Electrify America. And I uh, appreciate uh, you guys watching, uh, liking, subscribing, all that fun stuff. And if you're living the Tesla lifestyle, tell your friends about us. This is Tesla Tips and Trips.